What's up? It's Saucy Santana, the latest on the motherfucking block. Check me out on the Bootleg Kev Podcast. Bootleg Kev Show, we got a special guest in here. Fresh from Rolling Loud weekend. I saw you on stage doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Saucy Santana is in the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? What is going on? Outside. Never inside. You are outside. For sure. (laughs) I see you everywhere. Yeah. Well, congrats on the freshman cover. Thank you. That was yeah. dope. First How like gay boy to do it? Yeah, salute to that. You know what I'm saying? Breaking mm-hmm. down barriers. You know what I mean? That's a big deal. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, the homophobia and hip hop starting to fade away a little bit? Yeah, I feel like gay is regular. Like kind of like now, even when you watch your, when you watch TV, gays everywhere. It's almost on every TV show. Is something gay? Every everything that you like. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's it's just like it's it's becoming normal. It's becoming normal. So I think people are just kind of like. It is what it is. Yeah, I've gotten into arguments with people who are like, you know, you know, shout out to a guy like Boosie, who's obviously says some offensive things at times. But mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, there's like this misconception that like watching a Buzz Lightyear and there being a same sex kiss can uh-huh. make kids gay. And I'm like, yo, this is like people are born this way. This isn't like mm-hmm. something like 45 years in a life. You just decide, man, I've been watching a lot of. Will and Grace. So yeah. I'm going to go dip my toe into that part. Like, how do you feel about like just that? Um, I don't think that I don't necessarily think that watching that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, for me, I feel like kids are sensitive. Mm-hmm. So I get the argument um, of it because there's certain things that I don't let my little sister watch. There's certain things that I don't let my God kids, um, you know, be a part like you of. Wouldn't, but you, you also wouldn't let them watch like straight people like. Doing crazy shit. Yeah, you're you know not I mean? gonna you've not been to watch no adult movies, right. or you're not gonna watch. You know what I'm saying? You know people having sex on TV. Like it's everything. I just I'm just I'm gonna censor you as a child. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna necessarily make it about um, you know sex. I even or or you know gay things on the TV. Right. I even have um, a lot of cousins. Like I I grew up with a lot of my cousins that are my age. Mm-hmm. We grew up like brother and sister. So I call their sons my nephews. Um, they my nephews. They see me. Uh, Nails, lashes, purse, all that, and they like you know. Of course, okay, he's different, but you know I'm still outside with him. We playing football. I'm mm-hmm. still, you know, what I'm saying we playing baseball. I'm like, hey, you know, you a boy, you don't do that. Like, you know, what I'm saying. So it's just like that. Don't just because they see me, that don't mean like, oh, you know, Uncle Santana got nails on. That's what I'm gonna do. You still a boy? You still doing your own thing? So you can't really try to pin, pin that on kids. Like, oh, they seeing this. That's what they're gonna do. Right. How how, how old were you when you came out? 17 17 that's so that's pretty like deep in high school years yep 17 i was uh junior junior high school came out was it like pretty evident that you were like we, yeah you know what i mean i mean like you know you kind of see that growing up and di- different things like that but just at 17 i was like man i've been i graduated high school at 17 so i was like man i'm gonna graduate I'm so you were grown. super smart like i'm outside yeah you were getting ahead on credits well no um my birthday is in october oh you had one of those weird birthdays yeah weird birthday so i was 17 everybody was 18 when we graduated i couldn't even go to the club yet yeah there's 18 up clubs in florida gotta uh-huh. be crazy oh man nothing like a florida strip club nothing like it the no. office oh my god in miami Great place, mm-hmm. small place, place, but a great small place. place but a great place. It's a great place. They got good food there too. Mm-hmm. Not as good as Tootsie's. Oh, what you know about Tootsie's? That fried lobster tail with the seafood Ooh, rice. Yes, that was a big thing. That was what Tootsie was. Tootsie was known for. People are not really that messed up about it no, not fucked up about it no more. But right. that was the big thing to get that fried lobster tail from Tootsie's. Also, like lightweight Tootsie's is a brothel. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's you, it's, you, you go to Tootsie's to catch a vibe, but if you want to see some you can go to t- You can go to Tootsie's, catch a vibe, have some good food, get a massage, and also maybe catch a virus. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> be careful on the viruses. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot going on right now. Fucking monkeypox. You see the video of this guy on the internet with monkeypox? Nah, but I've been hearing a lot about monkeypox, so I just be like, eh. I be keeping my distance like, move. Yeah, I see the meme, but they like, it's offensive to touch people right now. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 wild. I mean, but you know, I feel like uh, you just got off a tour with Lotto not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've been doing some festivals. Obviously, Rolling Loud's a big look. Like, um, yeah. Are you finally, you feel like you're kind of coming into your own as a performer? Uh, yeah, performing for me was always easy. That was the easiest shit to do. Mm. Get on the stage and turn the fuck up. Yeah. So, um, ever since I be like, you know, started getting popping and started booking shows and stuff like that, um, performing was easy. I think I'm coming more to a performer now because now I don't do clubs. I do a lot of festivals. Right. Um, I do a lot of big productions. I'm about to do Jimmy Fallon. So huge. Um, it's huge. So it's like it's different from 
in the club rapping like four little songs right quick to so now you got to have dancers and everybody got to hit the steps at the same time and you got to I went from having to entertain a thousand people in the club to at a rolling loud got to you know entertain 30,000 people in the crowd you like Whew, it's a yeah, big and difference. you're also entertaining a bunch of people who like just saw you for the first time. Yeah, that and too. Like so you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta. So it's like you really gotta put on a show because I always want even the people that didn't know me to go home. Like, who was that? I like him. This booty record uh, with Lotto is this a record you guys did on tour, before tour, after tour? Um, booty was after tour. After tour, so after you guys kind of linked up on the tour. I'm assuming became friends. Were you friends prior? Or? No, friends prior. Me and Lotto have been friends since eh, 19, 2019 when we first started. Rapping. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, we were signed to the same um, label, Stream Cut. It was an independent label. We mm. were signed on that together and then she went to RCA and now I'm RCA too. So you're both label mates again? Yep. There it is. Uh, so did you like come up in the like rap scene in Florida or did you like have to go to Atlanta? Or like, no, like I, um, my shit just went viral um, after I already Walk Him Like a Dog July 4th, 2019 on SoundCloud. It did a million plays in seven days, and it was over. She, my life changed ever since then. Would you say when you did that record, you had like had any intention to take music serious? No, never. I never dreamed of being a rapper. I never wrote poems. I never did none of that shit. My daddy used to rap when I was a kid, but mm -hmm. I always, even going through high school, all of my friends used to rap. Like my homeboys in high school used to rap. I used to always be like, "Get out of here! Like you're not gonna be a rapper. You got to be Lil Wayne or fucking Drake or somebody." It right. don't happen like that. Yeah, there's nobody who like looked like you that was yeah. doing it. Yeah, so it's like to be fair. I also think you're the first person. I know Little Nas X is gay. Yeah, but I feel like you're like flamboyant. Yes, yeah, in a different Very way. Flamboyant and feminine. Yes. So is, that, is that is that appropriate to say? I, yes. Yeah, it's cool. Cause you know when Lil Nas when we first met Lil Nas, you know he was he we didn't know anything. he was uh, we didn't know yeah he was he, we didn't know he was, was we just he just had the fucking cowboy record yeah, yeah so old town you know road. what I'm saying I think I'm the first one that came out like you know what you see is what you get you already know what time it is you know when you see me and um to be able to have the amount of success that I have being like that you know it's new it's different it's dope. What up? We gotta interrupt the interview real quick to tell you about our people at Blue Chew. Don't forget to go to BlueChew.com. Use the promo code bootleg right now and get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 in shipping. It's the, uh, man, fellas, the game changer. That's all I'm going to say. You pop the blue chew and your dick is on a million. Man, I'm not saying it makes it bigger, but it feels bigger. I'm just saying. I'm not saying, but I'm saying. Uh, look, same active ingredient as Cialis and Viagra, minus the awkward visits to the doctor's office. All right, it's all over the phone. It's so easy. They ship it right to your door. Indiscreet packaging. Uh, I don't know if you're going through erectile dysfunction because you're stressed out at work. Uh, maybe uh, you just need a little extra hump with wifey. Whatever it is. Maybe you just want to take a blue chew and beat your dick like it stole something just to feel like, damn, that shit's hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code bootleg right now and you will save uh, all money. It's free. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get a whole month for free. Bluechew.com, promo code bootleg for a whole month for free. Delivered to your door discreetly. No doctor's appointments, no awkward visits. Same Viagra, Cialis ingredients. Man, what are you waiting for? Go do that. Do you have, let me, let me, let's figure, I, I'm curious, like, the type of groupies everyone gets groupies when you have that this type of fame what are your groupies like um i got all kind of groupies i got like weirdos um i got uh different niggas trying to talk to me you got a girl just said she, i'm pregnant she's pregnant with my baby like wow a girl said that yeah she was like it, i seen some like vlog shit like some girl says i'm she pregnant with my kid. And did I'm you ever uh, did you ever that. dabble in females? Did you ever sleep yeah. with a woman? Uh-huh. I'm all, all, all during like high school. So I, in high school you were banging. I had chicks. girlfriends. No, um and so I only ever had sex with like one girl like ever in my life. Okay. I just to be like, let me try it just to see. Let's like, give it a shot. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah. Like let me see. It was it was straight though. It was cool. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> But it wasn't fun enough for you to keep going down yeah, that path. Yeah, it wasn't fun enough for yeah. me to keep going. But it was like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? I, could, I, 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 see, I see what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? That's a little macaroni fan. <laughs> <laughs> this was in high school? Yeah. Oh. I was out of high school already. I was out of high school. Shout out to you. Mm -hmm. Damn. I feel like, you know, I feel like we're kind of getting to the point where, like, I, you know, 
I feel like 15, 20 years from now, I just feel like everyone's gonna be fucking everybody. I feel like yeah. it's, I feel like it's going there. Yo, I know mad gay boys that that was like fucking girls. I know mad like a lot of a lot of niggas that I talk to like got kids. Mm. Um from like, you know, being previous in high, relationships. Yeah, being in high school and still being right. down low and still fucking girls that kinda like, you know, hey, I'm not gay. Like, so I don't talk to I don't talk to a few niggas that got kids. That's interesting. They kids be like nine, ten years old. Mm. Like they was fucking, you know, girls in high school. Girls get pregnant, you know, niggas got kids. How do you feel like? Because I feel like we've we've had a couple of teaching moments in the last year in terms of just like, you know, what happened with the baby last year, Rolling Loud. Like I feel like uh, sometimes we're very quick to like shit on somebody as opposed to like trying to like teach them. This new ca- cancel culture, uh, cancel culture bullshit. It's like trolling is, is is a trend now. So now the world is different. Back then you had to like like you you wasn't making no blogs. Like we had to read shit in magazines or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, or fucking it, MySpace. MySpace, like it was hard. Now now you can get on the internet and cuss me out and I cut your ass back out. We on the shade room. In, in three in three seconds. In three seconds. Yeah. Or you can retweet my picture and say something say something some dumb shit or some viral shit it go viral you all over the blog so now people feeling like you know what i'm saying not to say that fans are less than but bitches feel like they important yeah like so they like oh bitch i know i could get everyone feel like they got an opinion that's that yeah matters. and y'all feel like y'all got leverage like people like to feel like they got you by the bars like oh you said this say sorry right. oh, we ain't gonna never listen to your music no more you can't never come back outside like suck a dick like fuck are y'all talking about literally it, literally. literally like you know it's like because people are not doing things now because they actually care. People are doing things now because like because they're oh, gonna get attention. They are gonna get attention. Like I got the top comment yeah. or oh a hundred people said it down like it's blue hat. So we don't fuck with the blue hat because a hundred people said it in the comments. We are just gonna be bandwagoners. Like, I also feel like with a lot of the cancel culture shit, like just in general, like most of the time it's like a very small amount of people who are on Twitter. Dumb people was but like on, when you meet people in real life. I swear to God, I just said this. It's like, yo, most real people don't give a fuck I about this. I just said this. It's I like just said this. The, the other small day, minority I said, who are dumb saying the cancel culture is in the motherfucking comments. It's in the internet. When you meet people in real life, you be like, I be like, well, where's all the motherfuckers that hate me? Well, because people they try to come at you for old tweets. Yeah, they which was crazy. They, they, do, they that do that to, to everybody. Everybody, everybody, and it's like my thing is, my thing is. I'm not a I'm not, I'm a realistic person. I'm not a fake woke person. Yeah. Like everybody now is like, oh my God, I can't believe you said this in 2011. Bro, if you wasn't famous, if the same people that's finding our old tweets, if they wasn't famous, let's go in your Twitter and see what the fuck was you saying. Also, what are you doing with your life where you're digging through someone's timeline back to 2011? You know when they do it? They do it when you about to reach like some type of accomplishment mm-hmm. or something. And that's why I said people now know that I could go dig up a tweet and I could make this go viral and I could have you being the laughing stock or the talk of the whole world mm-hmm. right now. Because we people it, it's it's set up to now where like bitches got you by the balls, like, oh, I could go find his old tweets and we he's gonna get canceled and we're gonna and he's gonna have to sit down and apologize. Right. Like they feel like they got some kind of power over you now. So it's not even. It's people's like, drugs. It's like they get a dopamine hit w- yeah. when they come for people and it works. And it works. And it's like, but you know, you have so many people in the world like, bro, somebody said shit 10 years ago. That's why I love that Cardi B suit. I mean, listen, I don't know that blogger, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But I love the fact that Cardi B won that lawsuit. Yeah. Because that blogger was saying some fuck shit. Yeah. And it's like, yo. Hopefully this kind of helps correct. And people, you know, people believe love the negative narrative of things. That's right. what's be- that's what's more better or fun to believe from mm-hmm. them. So when you saying wild shit about people or like, you know what I'm saying, even when people are digging up these old tweets and we do these PR apologies that your label make you do of course. and all that, guess what the people still say? Fuck you, we don't believe you. Oh, of course. Or yeah. oh, we don't care you you said that you meant it. Right. So it just be like Whatever But I go through comments And I see those people The logical people That really is like 
Bro, somebody said some shit 10 years ago. Who gives ten, a fuck? 10 years ago was when you had to have a viral tweet to. to well, also, 10 years ago, getting canceled wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing. It was ten like, I'm going to just say some ill ten shit. 10 years ago, you got, you got on Twitter and talked shit. You got on Twitter, you mm-hmm. watched award shows, or you watched whatever the fuck, and you just said wild, crazy, crazy ass shit, shit because back then you really had to have a good tweet. Well, you know what that means? I mean, it's crazy, too, because they just tried to do that with Glorilla, and I was like, yo, like. She just signed a crazy deal. And I told you when you reach new heights. Yeah, it's like whenever yo. you do an accomplishment, they come. They come like, oh, you don't even like your goddamn. I'm like, so what? Ten years ago, she probably didn't. Yeah, who gives a fuck? She didn't know Yo Gotti. She didn't. She was a fan. She was a, a. She was a music consumer, voicing her opinion. Voicing her opinion, and then five. But you know what? Be so crazy about them old tweets. They will only dig up the negative ones. Ten years ago, she probably could have said "fuck Yo Gotti," and then seven years later, she probably could have said "Yo Gotti, the hardest rapper out right now." Some shit, but they're yeah. not gonna show you that part. Right, right, right. They're right. gonna show you that. Hey, she said "fuck Yo Gotti" ten years ago, and it's crazy. Let me. I gotta ask you a question. I use pause a lot. Mm-hmm. Do you know what that means? Yeah, pause. Okay. Is that homophobic? No. Okay, I just not ask. to me. Okay, I gotta ask. Not to me. Because if my guy's like, "Yo, man, uh, yo, I need extra meat on my sandwich," I'm like, pause. pause. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Pause. It's not. It's not. Um. Just one thing about gays. Gays are sometimes we're extra extra sensitive. Right. Um. Because you know, just how we looked at a lot of stuff. You know, gays are kind of, you know, throw to the wayside. I consider you know bottom of the barrel. Um, of things or you know even when we dealing with you know men we consider like you know soft or you know different things like that so gays is always on the defense but that's not uh that's not to me that's not that's not offensive that's not offensive okay. no gotta make sure man you calling me something crazy outside my name is offensive but the pause is pause is yeah. not it's cool it's cool okay we just gotta make sure yeah. I gotta get because I'll be pausing a lot no pause. you know what I mean <laughs> pause. I say that like I want to me I'm like yo that's me and my brother Trey me and my brother uh, Trey tracks my producer like if I would have been like I want extra me I'm saying he would have been like hey yo like pause. that's our pause like hey what. Or I could be like with my nigga son and my nigga like put his arm around my shoulder something. My brother gonna be like, hey, yo, like that's our pause. So now nah, that's not offensive. So you're taken? Yeah. Currently. Currently. I'm nice. in a relationship. How long have you been in a relationship? Um, my nigga actually just spent the block, so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But I mean, he I just mean, spent the block? He just spent the block. What's that mean? Um I mean so, I know what spinning the block means, but like in context to a relationship, I'm um, not sure. well, you know, we we was in a relationship last year. You know, we broke up when And he I came back away. around. Yeah, he spent the block. Oh. I hopped right back in the car. Oh, shout out to him. <laughs> and you came back in. Yeah. Salute. I mean, yo, yeah, I mean maybe it's all oh, age. I I almost just you. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Jesus Christ. Uh you're on the freshman cover. Yeah. Things are going well. Yeah. Maybe I need to come back around before things nah, get too crazy. but you know crazy. the reason why I fuck, really fuck with him, though, because he ain't, he like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he pr- does this accomplishment stuff, but, like, he just really a real nigga. Like, that, that, don't, that don't make or break me and his That's relationship. Dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm 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 very observant. So right, I right, watch right, right. things like that. Like, you got to watch for niggas that's like, oh, yeah, he lit. Like, dang, he more lit than last year. Like, like that nigga don't ask, you know, Nothing from me Like you know He a good dude so. What's um What is a Romantic gesture That that you have In your pocket Like what Like give me like A romantic gesture That you You go to In a relationship I'm not if He says I'm not I'm not really Like wrong. when my wife I'll buy her flowers It'll be like 11 roses uh-huh. I totally stole this From the internet Yeah <laughs> And one white rose in the middle, and I'll leave her a letter, and I'll be like, "You represent the right white rose because you're different than everybody uh-huh. else." Uh, what's the name? It's so funny. He says that I'm not romantic. Um, he's more the romantic one. Like that nigga just bought me two thousand dollars worth of flowers, and I was mad as shit. Like that's bro. a lot of flowers. Yes, but like I'd be mad too if my girl bought. I'd be like, "Babe, we could have bought." Hello, I could have got a new pair of shoes or something. I could have got four thousand tacos from Jack in the Box. <laughs> right. So shit. he mad romantic. Me, I'm more thoughtful. So like, um. His dad passed uh, um, when he was a kid, and uh, it just um, the anniversary of the death he had came up, gotcha. and so I had just like sent him an apple. I was like, "Hey, go get some flowers and balloons, you know, to take to the grave for your dad." Oh wow! So I'm thoughtful. You're I don't thoughtful. really think I'm romantic. Though. I'm not really romantic. Like I'm thought I'm thoughtful. Yo, who like growing up listening to music? Who is like on your music Mount Rushmore? Gucci Mane. That's my favorite rapper. Gucci. Gucci's probably the most, I mean, arguably most influential guy. Best A&R in hip-hop history. He's got yes. the best ear, I think, ever. Gucci Mane's So Gucci Mane's on there. You got three more slots to fill. Um, Trina. Shout out to the baddest bitch. Jackie O. Jackie O does not get enough love. They don't. Uh, Jackie what? O is where you from? 
I'm, oh, I lived in Tampa for a few okay. years, but I'm from Phoenix. But I know Jackie O. Yeah, because yeah. I would say Jackie O is a Florida thing. Yeah, That's if Jackie you know, O. If if Jackie you know, O had know. it. Jackie O and uh, two more. Uh, Nicki Minaj. Nikki. Once you know, we got in high school. Nicki had all us acting like Barbies, were you especially a, with me being would you gay. Get, were you kind of a barb? A barb, of course. Okay. okay. We. I made. All, I had to. I was still like in high school. I was still like in the closet. So I made all of my homegirls like everybody had to dress like Nicki. And I started us a group. We was called Ken and the Dolls. I was Ken, and they was the Dolls. So you made them all dress like how you kind of wanted to dress. Yeah, <laughs> I'm living through y'all. So you got to get the Nicki Minaj bang with the black and pink hair. Like I made all of them dress like Barbies. Shit was so funny. Um, are you still a Barb? Yeah. Okay. I love Nikki. Still a Barb. Um, who else I listened to growing up? You got one more. We got Nikki, Jackie O, and uh, and Gucci. Those are those are that's that's three good ones. Uh, Future. 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 The greatest club artist of all time. Future. I remember when Future. One thing I love about Gucci. Gucci brought out Future. Migos, all them niggas, like all them, all them OJ, niggas, that, Waka. OJ, all them, Waka, all them that yeah. we had started listening to. Gucci was throwing them on features way back yeah. in the days when we didn't even know who they was mm-hmm. for real. For real, people don't know, know like uh, even like somebody like the Migos. Like, yes, he he could have signed them if he wanted to. Yes, Gucci. That's how I got introduced to the Migos. Yeah, I remember they used to always be on songs with Gucci. Yeah, are you currently like in Atlanta? Or are you still in Florida? Where you at? Yeah, I still I live in Atlanta. H- how is Atlanta like? I've been there. Uh, I love it there. By the way, it's mm-hmm. great. The food Atlanta is great. Is litty. I went during the uh, pandemic, and it was you know from one thing I loved about Atlanta we ain't, we ain't do, we ain't believe in the pandemic exactly. That's why I liked it. Everybody came to Atlanta caught COVID and went back home. Because I I've been I've been in <laughs> I was I was in L A going crazy, and we went to Atlanta for like a week, and I was like, is this is this is different? Atlanta was lit. Everything was open. A strip club. Everywhere. Everything. No masks. No nothing. Like we was outside. Like no, it, was incredible. it was so funny I was like oh my god This is the only place In the world That's outside It was amazing like, It was lit It yeah, was like amazing in Atlanta. Um, But you know I feel like I grow to Atlanta a little bit I'm finna move to LA LA? Well be prepared If a pandemic comes back Your ass is gonna be Masked up See, Oh <laughs> trust me Don't think I ain't Keeping my crib in Atlanta yeah. I'll be gone Pew, be right back. See ya so you might be moving to L.A. Everyone moves to L.A. Yeah, I'm going to come out here. I got a lot of work here. You know, I travel with a big team. My security go everywhere with me. You know, my road manager, uh, my other manager, my my brother who is my DJ and producer, my cameraman. It's like, you got a crew. It's a lot. Yeah, so it's a lot. You know Dancers. What I'm Dancers, all that. So it's a lot bringing everybody with you, getting all these different hotels and all oh, that. Oh, it's stuff. a lot like, for sure. LA's and then, the you know, at, 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 it be like a lot of, it's a lot of opportunity. That's how I feel like when I first moved to Atlanta, it was mm. opportunity for me at the artist I was there now mm-hmm. Now all of my opportunities are here And you know you broke. I feel like you broke through And I feel like once you break through Like you at least gotta be in LA a little bit more Yeah you got to Cause you know Stuff is spurred a moment here So it you is. can you might, be, you might have somebody hit you And be like yo I'm hey, in the studio I'm with so and so the studio. She said pull up I'm like oh I could be there first thing in the morning I, exactly. I gotta fly out to, to Saudi Arabia tomorrow This is literally what I tell every it. artist That's like that I got an artist who's, who's from who lives in Missouri and he was in LA for a little bit, but he couldn't afford to stay out here. And I was like, figure it out because there's opportunities like that pop up last minute. Yes. You're, you're going to be fucked out of those. You're going to be because like right now you in a vibe. People want to be in a vibe in the moment. And then they got Mike got a flight the next day. And that's like, all right, I'm going to spend a block on you. And yeah, try but, that, again, but it man. never, ever happens. I swear to God, Nikki DM me one time and was like, you in LA? I was like. No, I'm in Atlanta, but I could come. I could get there. She was like, oh, okay. I'm like, dang, I wonder why she asked me what she, I... Because she lives here. Uh, yeah, she lives here. So but I, I knew that, so I'm like, dang, I wonder why she Nikki asked me Nikki DM'd that. you? Yeah. So did you get... I would have been like, I'm in L.A. I wasn't, though, so I couldn't lie. Like, Fuck that. I'd be like, where's the I'm airport? In, Take in, me to the airport. Yeah, but it's like, now I say, now I say I'm in L.A. And she like, pull up. Now it's like, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be that. there in four and a half hours. <laughs> We gotta like, figure that shit out. Yeah, so it was like I was like, dang, bro. Hey, like, what you gotta do is when you finally get your house, go back to the DMs and say, Hey, heads up, I live here now. I live here, uh-huh. For sure. And then just send her this clip. Yeah. You say you're a barb and you had a whole rap group. Oh, Nick, no, 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 Does no. Does she no, know no. This? Me and Nikki follow each other. Okay. Me and Nikki. Does she DM. know that you had the, the high school group? Yes, okay, Nikki. Okay. Like Nikki know everything. And in the dolls? Yes, Nikki know. Like me and Nikki is like this, like She's, nah, Nikki she's the goat. Saying. She's the greatest female rapper of all time. Yeah, for sure. Tell me, obviously we're in LA. West Hollywood is a pop in gay area. The clubs uh-huh. there are insane. If you like drive in that area, it's like it's trust like, me. It's I wild. seen it. I had to perform at We Help Ride. Oh, how was it? It was lit. What's the what? What's the better scene? Party in gay clubs here, Atlanta. I feel like they're way Atlanta. different. Atlanta. 
But I'm not really heavy in gay clubs Like party scene I like strip clubs So you'd rather go to the strip club Yes yeah. I love cheetahs Cheetahs out here Yes Cheetahs is solid It is I a good love club cheetahs Yeah I'm a ball at cheetahs Not I a man You ever go to a cheetahs. male strip club No ugh. They're probably gross right Yeah I don't like that I like I like BBLs You like the BBLs Nice Shout mm-hmm. out to the BBLs I feel Yo I was in uh, the, the Dominican Republic and we we're flying back and there was at least four women on the plane that were like on wheelchairs. Say, uh-huh. Going over there to get that body snatched up. I said, shit. For sure. I said, at least hang out out here for like a week and and, and, and let the swelling go down. No, they be <laughs> gone. Are dudes getting BBLs? I mm-hmm. just saw a band mo, a bandman Kevo got his body done. Uh-huh. Dudes get well, gay boys get BBLs. Now dudes is getting So gay you're telling me gay guys get the fake ass. Yeah. You've seen this. I got one. You got a BBL. <laughs> Your cheeks are is it a fat reassignment? What yeah, is going on back just, there? They just take it they just take it from your stomach and your waist and just put it in the back, put it in your ass and hips. So you got the BBL popping. Where'd you go to get it done? Bashovsky, Miami. Was it painful? Nah. Wow. It's not. It's really not like you just wake up, you kind of sore a little bit, and then like you can't sit on your butt for like uh, four to six weeks. I broke my tailbone when I was in uh, elementary school, and I had to sit on a donut. Uh huh. Yep, you- that's the thing. They get like a little. You get like a little donut, or they get like a little um, a little um thing that's like you can sit, but your butt doesn't sit on the seat whenever you're sitting down. Well, yeah, I saw you uh, twerking on stage uh, unapologetically as you should uh, at Rolling Loud. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And I was like. Shit, man, dude's got cheeks. P- pause. You know what I mean? Pause. Dude's got some cheeks, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so at least we know now that you, yeah. you went and got them things situated. Uh huh. No, for sure. But most men, like, surgery is so normal now. Of course. So niggas is going to get abs and getting their fat sucked down and all kind of stuff. For sure. I just um, saw, you know, we do a radio show every day. So, obviously, you know, the Hollywood Unlocks and Shade Rooms. There's this, there's like a dick surgery now. Where you can like get your dick extended for real? Yeah, I can't even imagine how crazy it would. I look. remember they had the dick pump. Oh yeah, yeah, that's from like the nineties. For real, my uncle had one. I tried one. Creep. Yeah, I had one. Yeah. <laughs> how does it work? When I was like nineteen, when me and my baby mama went to the porn store for the first time, uh-huh. I, I was like, "Let me try this thing. Let me try." It does just, it really work? I mean, for a second. Oh shit, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like it just sucks your dick. Like, pause. <laughs> It hey, like you like yo. pump it, you like pump it, and then like your dick gets bigger in this tube, and then like you take it off. It, it's not comfortable. Uh huh. But I only did it once. I was a kid. Yeah. But yeah, definitely not. I wouldn't suggest that. I wouldn't suggest getting this. The, I wouldn't suggest getting the, the surgery. surgery. Fuck no, that. No. How about you just you got what you got? Yes. Work with what you got. Work with you with what you got for sure. Does size matter? Not to me. Not to you. There it is. I don't know. You know your perspective. Some ladies would say. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's about the motion of the ocean. Young Miami would say it matters. She would say it matters. She's dating Diddy-ish? Yeah. Yeah. Ish. Ish. No, it's really, she she really does, she does date him. Um, She's got a great show. Huh? I love her new show. Yes. Her new, Carisha Please is so good. Yeah, they confirmed it, you know, on the show. That, 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 that well, thing. I saw that, and then I just saw her twerking on Quavo at, at Rolling Loud. So we, I we entertainers. We rappers. For sure. And we outside. Mm. So just because you dating somebody like, you know what I'm saying? They not married. Mm. They already said, I'm dating this person. I'm dating this person. But shit, we outside. Hey, we got to stop the interview real quick to tell you about our partners, our family at Odd Socks. Go to oddsocksofficial.com right now. And the promo code bootleg Kev, it'll get you 20% off the flyest socks in the world. Fucking SpongeBob. Fucking Cheez-Its. A little bit of Pepsi. Uh, how about how about some underwear? Do we like underwear? ET boxers. Let's go ahead and just open up a pair of these boys, so you can see how fly the draws are, ladies and gentlemen, because they are fly. By the way, they just gave me my own pair of odd socks. Go on my social media and you can see them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be for sale. Because let's be honest, who wants to wear socks with my fucking ugly face on them? Besides my wife, and she don't even want to wear them. There we go. Woo! They got the draws. They got it all, man. 
Get the Odd Socks Basics, which I love, just the basic boys. These are amazing, comfy socks. Oddsocksofficial.com. Use the promo code BOOTLEGKEV. Save 20% off. Let's get back to the interview. Have you had any famous guys slide in your DMs, like on the low ski, broski? Like, uh, yeah, but I don't get into that. No, like, you're not going to tell us who it is. I wouldn't expect that, you to yeah, do that. That's the people business, but hell yeah, niggas is yeah, hard as hand. <laughs> that's I mean, hey man, listen, you're a very successful artist. The music is dope. The booty record is going up. Mm -hmm. You haven't dropped an album in a couple of years, so when is is this album? That's so, so yeah, that's what we right now. We in the creative process. I'm figuring out. You know, what I'm saying like you know, I have a lot of new fans now, so I want to you know explore new styles and stuff. You know, reaching out to just everybody. Um, but still staying true to myself, still staying true to my fans and what they want to hear. So we're just going through the creative process, figuring out which artists sound good on what records and different things like that. How many records are you sitting on right now? <laughs> I got so many damn songs. That's all I do. They, the phone is ringing right now. They want me to come to the fucking studio when I finish this. So every time I'm in L.A., we in the studio. You're working like, nonstop. Are you uh are you the type of person who has to write their own shit? Do you get help with the writing? Are you open to both things? I'm open to both. Now I'm open to both. When I started seeing our favorite motherfucking songs that we think somebody works so hard on and all that, and when you go read the credits and it's like eight, seven eight people writers on the song, I'm like, hey, you ain't write that shit, but we fuck with it and we love it. Like you wrote it, we don't give a fuck. So now I just had to grow. To that because once I had first started rapping, I felt like I had so much to prove, mm -hmm. and I felt like I was a new rapper and I was gay. I was like, my first three projects. You wrote it all. I wrote it all. Mm. I wrote it all. Um, my next hit. Um, we just did a song. I feel good. When I was in Atlanta, me and my brother Trey Tracks, I wrote the whole song. Wow. Feature on it. Material Girl. I wrote the whole song. That's that's your biggest record, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Material Girl, I bought that whole entire song, top to bottom. Mm. So it's like, um, I just, but I just realized now with like in music, everybody like just oh, I know how to rap. Okay, you can know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? But you know, a hit is a hit. Were you nervous to do your freshman freestyle? Hell yeah, all of us was. Yeah. When you go do freshman, you go there that morning. First mm. of all, all of us have to agree on the beat. Okay. So everyone's got to be like, yes. Everyone's got to be like, yes. And if your ass don't say yes and you get outnumbered, yes, it's grass. Okay. So we all have to agree on the beat. That morning, you have to do a freestyle, a cypher. So those are already two, two raps. Different, yep. Two different raps. Um, they have an ABC segment. They have a read, read hateful comment segment. Long and day. You have to do photo shoots. So it's a long goddamn day. I'm the type of me, I get ready like a girl, so I have to get glam, makeup done, all that shit. Um, you go do your different, you, you got to have like three, four outfits, different photo shoots and all that. So you doing photo shoots throughout the day, different content pieces, and trying to write two raps that you got to goddamn remember. Right, and you got to kill it. And you gotta kill it. Yeah. So it's like you kind of you kind of write you gotta recite a rap like if I listen to a, if I listen to my favorite song ten times I could rap it better that ten time than when the first time right. I heard it. So it's like you kind of gotta go out there and rap your shit with confidence, like you popping your shit, knowing damn well in your head you don't even got there remember the lyrics because you just wrote that shit. Right. And you gotta remember too. You gotta remember your freestyle and you gotta remember the your cipher. cipher. Yeah. Crazy. Who are you in the cipher with? It was me, Dochi. Dochi is dope as hell. Incredible. From Tampa. Incredible. Me, Shout out to Dochi, Tampa. Um, uh, Casey. Casey, yeah. Casey. From New York. Or I think from Jersey. Somewhere up there. And I forgot the other boy name. Were you um like... Fago? Fago? So Fago. So Fago. So Fago. Sometimes we hear stories. People do the freshman shoot and then collaborations end up happening after because you hang out with them all day. Mm -hmm. was, was there anybody who you linked up with who you kind of caught a vibe with there? Dochi. Dochi. She's in Florida Girls. She's from Tampa. Yeah. Shout out so, to Tampa. So it's so funny because I always, I looked at Dochi as like a pop, like kind of poppy. Mm -hmm. And then we was at a thing. She was like, son, son, puss ass out. I was like, oh, Florida. You from Florida. That's Florida. Puss ass out. Pussy ass house of Florida. Pussy ass house. And you and gotta say pussy. You gotta say pussy well, ass house. Is is I know Jit's a Florida thing, but is Jit like Tallahassee? Is, Jit a Florida thing. Like what's up? Jit? Does it get? I'm saying, does it get up to Tallahassee? Because yeah. I know it's like heavy, like in the Tampa area. Yeah, yeah for sure. Orlando. Jit, Jit, what's yeah. up, Jit? What up? Well, my we Jit? call our kids that. That's my Jit. Tallahassee also. Uh, T Pain's from there. Yeah. Mm. You should link with T Pain. Tallahassee. Have you met T Pain yet? I never met T Pain. 
You guys should do a song together. For but we, but we know he from Tallahassee. Yeah, you got to do it. He and he lives in Atlanta. Hey, give me I would ask T Pain produce a song. Which one? I would have produced a song for me. You don't give me T Pain feature. You wouldn't let him. You wouldn't let him do a hook. You're saying no to the T Pain hook. Give me produce the song T Pain. Write the song for me. Creative director and all that. You won't let him be on the hook. It's T Pain. It's T Pain. Okay, Pro- produce the song. She's like, I don't give a fuck. Like produce the song. Like who got a song with T Pain? <laughs> <sighs> but I think that T some people are like behind the scenes kind of people. Like I feel like T Pain had a long ass run. T Pain got a millions of records, so I know that that's he just had band. a top five song at radio about six months ago. Who? Oh, what song T Pain just had? With Kaylani. It's called "I Like That." I go. I never heard it. It's a. Uh, it was T Pain featuring Kaylani. It was like number. It, 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 it hit number two at rhythm. You heard it. You heard I only it. say this because I, I. Yeah. You heard the song. Never. Are you make? Are you telling us a joke? He definitely heard the fucking record. Yeah, anyway, shout sing out to Sing it for us, we gotta hear it Yeah, anyway How you gonna sing it? I like that You need to find her nothing Drink, she got money in the bank What you think about that? It's with, uh, it's with, with Kaylani I don't know Anyway I like, Okay, I don't know You're I turning got, down the pain features I gotta, right? I gotta listen yeah. to it No, T-Pain, write my song and produce it There it is Write my song We gotta get Nicki on the record with you I gotta get Nicki on there You gotta make that happen You already got Lotto Yeah, big Lotto any The other, biggest Any other Features that like, What about Trina Gucci man Yes Trina I want to do I want to do I want to do a song With Trina for the culture mm. You know people Who, who are kind of Outside of like uh, Like Trina is like Really big In the gay community Yes she is She's fucking lit Yes legendary In the gay community like Legendary And for me I want to do I want to do a song With Trina because Me growing up Like even though I, I'm originally from up north mm-hmm. And I remember like You know how the difference between living up north and living down south i really was older like from being 10 to all the way my whole adulthood was florida so trina was my little kim yeah you know, when you grow up up north they had little kim is what you know who, now, trina was running shit yeah but down south we had trina mm-hmm. trina the mother of miami yeah so i just feel like you know a lot of my music is florida based i'm mm. a, i would consider myself like you know a florida girl florida water because that's a lot of the stuff that I grew up on when I was a kid when I lived up north. So I was just in the pop Florida's music. a wild place. Yeah. I was listening to pop music when I was up north, like Britney Spears and shit. I was a kid. Shout out to Britney. So that's what was on, like going to school, TRL and all that, 106 in Park, Little Bow Wow and shit like that. Shout out to Bow Wow. That was a ran 106 in Park. I feel mm-hmm. like he owned, when I was a kid, I thought he owned BT. Yeah. Because like- I was like, God <laughs> damn, this motherfucker, I can love Bow Wow. Uh huh. This motherfucker, I'll go host 106 in Park every week. His video's always number one. Yeah. Even the shit that sucked. Uh huh. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so, album on the way. You're working on it. The new single is out featuring Lotto. Yeah. Uh, anything else you're getting into? Any acting? Any TV stuff? I'm about to go on tour with Lizzo. You and Lizzo going on tour. Shout mm-hmm. out to Lizzo. Shout out to motherfucking Lizzo. That's she, huge. She's wildly talented. Um, me and Madonna's song, Material Girl Remix, about to come out. You got a song with Madonna? Yes, of course. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Oh. We did a Material Girl remix. Um, we performed it, and, and I performed it with her New York Pride. Was, was she cool? Like a fucking rock star. Madonna wow. is so cool and so lit. And Madonna is a boss. I mean, she's fucking Madonna. Like, she's a fucking queen. Do you ask her questions, like, about, like, some of, like, like the 80s and shit? I'd be like, yo, like, how was, I would have, I would just, you know, find you. I'd be like, yo, how was Dennis Rodman? Was it good? Like, no, it was so funny. Like, I just, like, it was just being around her. You just bad. Mm. Like, we like in the studio. She like, I think I want to rock hard dick. Should I say that? I'm like, oh shit! Like I Madonna know. said, that? yeah, yeah. It was, it was something. It was, uh, it was. We was doing the remix, and she was like, something, something. I want to rock hard dick, and I just bust out. If I was like, oh shit! Like this lady is lit as hell. She was like, should I say that? I was like, shit. I feel like she. I feel like she's definitely going through like a, a patch in life where she's like on her young girl shit again. I love, I love Madonna. Um, she loves peppermint. Um, steamer. So you have whatever room she's in, you have to have a peppermint. It has to smell like peppermint. Ah. Um. I know how she smells. I don't Does know the name of the good? perfume. She smells good. I, if I smell it, I'd be like Madonna. Smell like that. Mm. I can remember. It. I just don't, I I forgot the name. Um. She's cool as shit, and she worked hard as hell. Like us going to rehearsals together, and like Madonna coming in rehearsal with heels on and long ass blonde hair and her makeup done. I'm like. With her little outfits I'm like This lady's still A motherfucking rock star mm. It was lit It was an experience Shout out to Madonna Shout That's a big Madonna. deal no, not, not a lot of Barely anyone has records That's what Madonna. I said I was like Yo you know I know people that have been Rapping for so long that I think Jay-Z might be The last person Who had a Madonna feature Quavo 
Oh, was it Quavo? See, I didn't. I didn't. Champagne, hear that Champagne Rose. Didn't hear that one. Mm-hmm. Was that on Quavo's solo album? Yeah, not the best album. So mm-hmm. I probably passed. That's that probably one. why. But what's name? Yeah, I remember that song. Um, yeah, it was there. I'm like, I had to, I had to sit on the thing. I'm like, you know how many people been rapping for so long, and you never even got even a chance to smell Madonna, and I was right there. Mm. She was crazy. Shout out to Madonna. That's what's up. We'll she listen. goes by M now. It's so funny. She doesn't go by Madonna. It's M. You gonna call her M? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's that's interesting. When we wear it's like M. You know you're famous if you could just go by a letter. She got a big M ring. Uh. Nobody calls her Madonna. I felt so stupid. I was like, um, um I, I, I don't know if I could call another human M if I know if you're Madonna. I'm like, you're Madonna. That's what I'm saying. But it's like everybody's like M. You're kind of late in the game. To M be. wants the donut. M's ready to leave. M says she could come in now. Oh, she, I bet she's she she probably moves that way, right? M. No jokes, Dip. I need my peppermint steamer in the studio. Yes. Like this is what we're doing. I, I need this kind of water. Yes. Don't fuck with me. I'm Don't Madonna. Fuck with M, bitch. I'm Madonna. That's fire. There it is. Man. I can't wait to be like that. Well, listen, man. I appreciate you coming through. Thanks la- for la- having me. Last question: If you could, if if there was a, any girl in the world who you, who's so fine that it's made you think about like shit, I don't know about this gay shit. Which which one is it? Young Miami. Young yeah. Miami. I respect that. Oh yeah. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Shout out to Young Miami. <laughs> there it is. Saucy Santana in the building. Who like Cap Show?